All right, next up, chapter two, part 18, I think. I'll see you guys after the cinematic. Jesse's passed out. Hey, let me do that. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to comment real quick, and this is uh, a flaw. I want I want to get it out of the way before we. Uh, I forget about it, really. Uh, in order to not show uh, the female, and I get annoyed just along with you guys about the whole, you know, male-female bullshit we got going on in our entertainment nowadays. But, yeah, to a certain group, and the group in particular that made this um, game, uh, it's they have to go by a certain rule book. For example, not showing females in certain levels of weakness. And even men, even you know, muscular, huge, grown men. I saw a big-ass bodybuilder pass out getting a tattoo on his calf. You know what I mean? I was in the chair coming up next. Just moved them aside, and I got my tattoo. And I was like 17 at the time, weighed 135 pounds. Ellie should be wincing a little bit. Just a little, you know, just a little twitch in her cheek or something. She's getting stitched up. And the reason for that isn't because women weak. It's to show that it's not just stale. There's an actual thing happening. It, it fleshes it out and adds that level of immersion and realism and weight to it. She's just stitching her up and it looks absolutely fake. You know what I mean? Because it's just so distractingly fake. Because she's just this. As the needle is going in and out of her sore cut. Wasn't the right time. There you go. Way to infect the wound, by the what way, dumbass. <laughs> Anything worthwhile? Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, Abby? Uh, no. This girl, Nora, her unit was assigned to this hospital. They were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. Wait, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. Like, at least just wait for Jesse to rest up. She could be gone by then. Ellie. We know her location. Maybe Tommy does too. What? Nothing. Good. Can you come help me with the door, please? Another thing that threw me off in my first gameplay, I think they rushed to make Dina all gung-ho, I'm ride or die, boo, you know, where you go, I go, and then she kind of gets pregnant and sick and becomes right. the nag, if and it just makes her five, seem a bit indecisive. That take me to the hospital. I oftentimes, with good writing, oh, you're five. wondering, what's, what are they thinking? Know what's, you know, because it's complex and in-depth, but I'm staring at Dina and I'm thinking, Bitch, what are you thinking with your indecisive ass? Do we go? Do we not go? Do we stay? Like, I don't know, man. She's just all over the freaking place. And I'm fine with it relating to... I still absolutely love this. Um, I'm fine with it relating to what she's going through. You know what I mean? Pregnancy-wise, not feeling so well. And keep in mind, that I don't have a problem with. I have known people that had uh, situations where the, their body wasn't absorbing certain nutrients and whatnot. I'm sure others out there are aware. You know, scary little trip to the hospital here and there. Uh, my uh, daughter's mother, actually, my baby mama, actually went through something. So it is a thing if Dina's not getting any vitamins and nutrients, the proper stuff she needs, that could make her real sick and weak. 
you know, which is, I get it, I'm hip, but her mentality is off, it's not, she doesn't come off as, get through. man, you know what, I'm sick and weak and I want to come with you, it comes off as indecisive, not no longer on board. <laughs> Here. There should be a <clears throat> infected or clicker or something in here. Far too many Ellie moments. The more I replay them, far too many that are just boring looting. And it's such a shame, too, because cool ass environments. Would it really have killed them to put a clicker here? This place looks cool. I like this little spot. Got a little trading card, bro. Why doesn't it do that anymore? Maybe it's something I did. Oh, I do got to make a correction. I turned something down. Uh, was it aim assist? I turned it down. I'm going to play with it a little more, but I turned it down, and I want to test it back on 10 because I think it is a touch different. I think aim, aim assist is a little more important than I gave it credit for. Oh, Did I get everything? I just want to double check. Oh, that's right. Okay. I went in there and out here. That's probably just a room to loot with no infected or any sort of challenge. Ah, empty drawer. Nice. It's been a while since I came across one of those. I don't know why, but I love throwing shit. I like this little spot. Let's get us something fun to play with. Hmm. <clears throat> we got a bomb. Let's use that. We can put it... Wait, this is the one I'm thinking of, right? There's clickers in there. We could put it over here. I want to see cars blow up. Is that hood up? Some of the hoods, like, jump in the air when they blow up. Ooh, there we go. Look at that trunk. Let's put it there. Shabam. shabam bama Wow. That was cool. Oh, whoa. Am I really that low on bullets? Uh, what? For real? I call bullshit on that one. <laughs> I fucking love it. You know what I caught that I could not get to happen again? I think it was in this very spot. Yeah, I think it was. I went over there, and you go in the building, come out, you move a dumpster or something, and I came out, 
and I just caught the sight of these crows. Route five. Picking away at one of the people I killed. I'm almost positive. Like, as soon as I came back over here, the crows all took off. Or whatever they are. Vultures, whatever. I'm almost positive. And I tried to replicate that, and I couldn't do it. But I'm going to try again, if I remember. i got to hurry up, too, because I'm pretty sure this chapter, this part, is one of the biggest. And that's just based on I pulled up a guide of chapters just to make sure I got my names right and you can see like this little scroll of how much stuff there is to do and this one is like five times bigger than all the ones we came across so far so there's either just a lot of info or this is gonna be a big one which if it's really that big I may put this chapter in two parts I don't know yet we'll see because when I'm thinking about it it's this little looting filler mission here. And that's another flaw that we're going to consider. Because of the way they shape this story and the simplicity. When I hear about Neil Druckmann and how he wrote this story like in a week or something. and uh, Or the outline and yada yada yada. Normally I'd be like, what? Uh, but I believe him now because there's nothing to it. It's revenge. Find this person track her down oh don't kill her you know what i mean because of what is that Be, uh, that's cool i gotta start looking at some of the stuff she's picking up because some of it is neat i just breeze past it um anyway and i start to believe them because a lot of this when you replay it you notice how how much filler is there like i come out of the the uh theater and now you're traveling to where this girl is it's all just a waste of fucking time. As opposed to something that was story-oriented, like... Specific down to the key element. This is just like, yeah, I'm traveling, traversing this world just to get to something. Uh, I'm doing a poor job at explaining it. But if you wonder why Ellie's missions kind of came out the way they are. A lot of looting, a lot of... Sure, they could have put extra people. Extra infected and whatnot. Oh, I thought that was going to be different. But if you wondered why there, there, it seemed a bit off, it is because when you leave an area, you're with Ellie, and you literally are with her to walk a couple blocks in either direction. And same for Abby. When you're Abby and then you go from one area to the next... You're just traveling back and forth from A to B. And the story is essentially like in limbo. Until you get there. I could have sworn there was something... To do with this. Hmm. Is it this or something else? One of them you can do something with. Like something extra. I don't know if it's this one or another one. Uh, fuck. Did I get the right one? Yeah, we'll, we'll use that. Pretty sure we can use that. Got it. Got it, boy. Oh, ho, ho. who's your daddy? Are they eating those bodies out there? What do we got? I said I was going to look at it. Man. That's just a rag. 
<laughs> I didn't know you can move the uh, pickups, pickup items. All right. See, now this is a pair of scissors, and I was kind of right. It has the circle, circular part broken off. So in the figure that you buy, it might not be all that accurate. But if it's just something, if they all look the same, you could just break it off. If you really need it to be that accurate, that's cool. A little water bottle. Oh man, almost fell doing some dumb shit. All right, um, was that all there was? Huh? Really? Missing something? Oh yeah, that's right. I should have double checked. I usually do. Then we got a soda bottle. Yeah, you better believe it. You better believe I'm gonna do that. Dun -dun -dun. <laughs> I wonder if you shoot the glass. Can you jump on it and smash it? Like, does it break if you fall on it? I guess that's a little too much detail, to be honest. Even for me, I don't need all that. You know what I need, though? Some ammo. <laughs> Quick. Ah, what do we got here? Let's take a closer look. We've got... Oh, it just looks like parts, don't it? I mean, it is just parts, but... Yeah. Alright. Cool. Wow, you... Is that a clicker, or did you get your head caved in? Was Abby over here? Oh, bitch. What the fuck is that, a cat? I wanted to try to shoot it. That was cool. I don't know if that was just a stupid coincidence, but having the cat chase the birds away? Bro, I'm easy to please. That was fucking cool. I keep seeing something falling. Oh, it's leaves. Alright, where do I go first? I think this way. See what I mean? Like, this is just boring loot and stuff. Yeah, I get it. Maybe you can consider immersion into the world. But I just, uh, I'm just baffled. Again, to clarify before I get someone going. Denied. But the, the story, I always get these really stupid comments. Not everyone, just, I'll get like one person that'll <laughs> twist the context of what I'm saying. And so what they say is, like, accurate, but it's not accurate to the context that I'm talking about. What I mean is, for example, with Abby, uh, because it's absolutely in ridiculously unnecessary, when Abby finds the map, she immediately teleports to the theater. You don't have to actually play that part, and I think it's that way for two reasons. One... I think you as the player as Ellie already played all the areas around the theater, so... Fuck. That's cool. I came in through the window one some other way on my uh, other gameplay. Nice. And I did that for the review, so Let's hang tight. Oh, shit. I can't get back up there, can I? Oh, yeah, I can. Sick. So, for example... You doubt me? You doubt me? Huh? I'll show you. I think because you already played that level around the theater as Ellie, plus the pacing's really destroyed. If you found your friends dead and you're like, let's go get that bitch, and then you did all this traversing, you kind of ruin the, the momentum, which is 
in all honesty, what they did when you went from Ellie versus Abby to playing as Abby. I mean, they crippled them. I don't know why they thought that was a good idea. But they crippled the momentum when they did that. Even for people that love the game, I watched at least a dozen people play that section. Why does she shift like that? And almost all of them were just... It just hurt the momentum and the vibe of it. Anyhow, so for pacing and because you've already been there, done that, as Ellie, they transport you to the theater. That's what I mean. That specifically is what I mean when I say Ellie's mission and a lot of Abby's missions, it's filler time that is in between you going from A to B that story-wise adds absolutely zilch zero like this moment right here i'm traveling to an area this could have been filled i could have said i'm going to get nora right then we could have had a story flashback with joel tommy something in its place where you got some of the world more interactions with character stuff and when you came out of it Ellie was walking up to uh, a section that you needed her to be closer to the hospital, like the Seraphite area. Sometimes the clicks all sound the same. Hmm. <sighs> okay, double check. Go slow. I don't know what I'm... My ear today is just not doing it. What is this? 30 year anniversary, eight. So 10, eight. I was close. Ten, I had that. I had that. 10, eight, and then what was it? Ten eight eighty three. There are quite a I wouldn't say there's a handful of cool encounters. I just feel story-wise, uh, they, they dropped the ball. I would like to hear from their perspective why they fought to keep you in their shoes because that's essentially what they did. They keep you in Ellie's shoes traveling. And for me, I mean, you guys can put your comments below. Did it work for you? Like just going from place to place did that work for you or would you have been fine if they would have incorporated uh, story elements and just put you in front of certain places they don't have to put you in front of every single building you could play at least some of the journey because I would imagine some of the journey would be fine by me hey look at that it's a garden tool that's yeah. neat the city's still filled with supplies yeah it's a trough is that what it's called <laughs> I like this. And this is clever thinking. Incorporating something that you're you're going to do on the regular. And you just don't expect to be bum-rushed when you're 
working on a workbench. I dig this a lot. I'm fucking stupid. You can't get out of it either. Oh, what the fuck? I wasn't even hitting. Shit. Come on. I went to the workbench and I didn't reload, motherfucker. Got you now. I got you now. Is that it? I thought there was one more. Oh, I fucked him up. <laughs> like Robocop. That's what you look like now. None of you left me some ammo? Little bitches. Yeah. Clever, neat little idea. Get attacked. Oh, I got a lot of work to do. Draw speed, stability. Yeah, let's do that draw speed. That's a must. That's cool. She puts a new one on. Better one. I dig it. Hmm. Is the scope really that important, you think? I'll go for it. Where they came from? Was that fireworks? Hell yeah. Can you get a look at that? No. Because I'm stupid and shut off my friggin' light. Yeah. Another note. Heavy on the notes, too. I don't mind it, but it's a bit heavy on the notes. How many do I got? Eight, nine, ten. Gotcha. I miss something in here. Look at that, I did. What was it? All American agro supply, is that what that said? Now this is what I wanted to see. I wanted nope, downstairs. I wanted to see 
the noisemaker, the noise trap. See, they showed this off in part one. Oh, neat. Oh, neat. I didn't even realize that one. They show this off in part one. I think you open a door and you set it. <laughs> oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Shut that door. <laughs> you shut the door. Clever. Beef jerky. I was going to say, what is that? Beef jerky? And it friggin' is. Oh, I thought that was paper. I was going to look at it. Wow. Those are some ugly-ass coffee pots. That's like PlayStation 2 graphics. Naughty Dog, what happened? Everything is gorgeous. Everything is like, oh my god, look at these graphics. Actually, to be honest, this room isn't like the greatest in the game, but follow me here. Man, look at these graphics. This shit is incredible. It's realistic. <laughs> like, <laughs> what the fuck are those, man? They're not even nowhere near round. That's PlayStation 2 Easter egg. Easy, <laughs> you know? Damn. What the, what the fuck are those? <laughs> I don't know. They look terrible. <laughs> I don't give a shit, though. It's like, what, four coffee pots in 30 hours and everything else for the most part? A couple things. The sounds on some smaller items, and here's the thing. I cut them some slack for it, but this should... It's so light. It's like they put it in there, but they forgot to tweak it. I can, like, barely, barely, which means you guys will never hear it. But I can barely hear it in my headphones. Alright, so I'm pretty sure... Where do they go? I gotta check. I got a scope now. How cool would that be if they were eating the bodies that we just killed? See? No. I can't tell. Are they eating the bodies? I don't know, but that idea is so cool. If I ever get lucky enough to be able to make a game based on Doomsday Kingdom... I want to incorporate that. <laughs> like the, the NPCs you kill. When you come back, the birds are feeding on their dead bodies. That's so damn cool. All right. Now keep in mind, this is still filler. I'm just traveling to where I think Nora is. That's it. That's what we're doing right now. And I know someone's going to bring up the first game. Well, you know, the first game was traveling to... And keep in mind, I know that argument's going to be brought up. But the way I'm thinking of it, and maybe we can articulate this cleaner so people understand. But the way I'm thinking of it is different. You know what? I used to find... I know why I don't have any bullets. I changed it. On accident, I, I did something when I uh, started a new game to do the rerun here, re replay. I switched all my options back to survivor difficulty. So that means there I'm not going to get many resources. I think for the review, I got to switch it down. Because survivor resources is so boring. A lot of your looting, especially with Ellie, man. A lot of your stuff is looting. And there, you don't even find shit. You find like one bullet here and there. It's so there's so many, so many empty drawers. All right, I think that's it. But yeah, I think some people are gonna say, oh, well, you know, part one is all about traveling, but part one is a, a little bit different because of the structure of the game is traveling. Like this one is revenge right and you have your revenge forgiveness humanity regaining part of your humanity i'm not going to get into the different layers because there's a few different layers oh shit wrong side but uh, essentially uh, the first part did have a better connective tissue as far as well we're going to get you to this location 
Oh shit, you know, um, the fireflies are dead. Alright, we'll go a little farther. No, Tess is bitten. She wants to go all the way. Alright. Oh, we'll go a little... We'll go to this location. Oh, no, we need to go over here. We need to go to the Tommy's Dam. Fine, I'll take you further. You know what I mean? It has that nice, even flow, but it is purposefully a travel. I'm looking for the right word for it, but it is a, a traveling story, you know? Okay. I forget what the fuck it's called. It's like an adventure story. Well, this one isn't, and it didn't need to be. So, we have these long areas that are just her going from point A to B, looting and somewhat shooting. And then when you get to Abby, though, that's where they put the Abby and Lev, and they, they flesh it out a little more with that. There's the hospital. <sighs> Fuck. I thought I'd be closer. Yeah, I feel you. Now, if I remember right, I don't know if you can see here, but here, where is, you're supposed to be able to see everything. At least when you play as Abby, you can see the entire board. You can see the hospital, you can see the aquarium, you can see the um, Ferris wheel, is the Ferris wheel in the skyline here? Uh, you can actually see it all because Abby goes on that big tower. Now that's all we're doing is going to that building. It does look kind of cool down there. Look at that fucking damn. This area is boring, I, I'm pretty sure. There's a cool little stalker fight inside here. Thought I heard something. Yeah, we're at 40 minutes. I might cut this one in half. Because this level... Um, I don't know why. Don't ask me why, but I get a kick out of... Oh, wow. That door got mad at me and fucking slammed shut. That's cool. You can see a gun grip in some other parts. Looks like a barrel of a gun. I like those little details. I am gonna do this though. Well, I don't know if I want to. I wanna test it, but I don't wanna go back too far. I'm gonna do survivor. I hope they don't put me back too far. Okay, that's not bad. Now, is this open or no? Okay. We might be able to see the different stuff we could get. Maybe. Oh, nice. I think we can. Sweet. Watch it be all the same shit. <laughs> we got a bottle here. Oh, look at that. We got a razor. That's different. See? A little razor. 
A little piece of tape. Uh, tape. Well, somebody broke their bottle. We got a. Uh, ooh, we got a Molotov. They give us a fucking Molotov. Yo, just by taking Survivor off, I'm already hard. I already picked that card up. We got pistols. Pistol bullets, two of them. I think we're already doing a lot better. Shit, yeah. What's this? A little screw. We got screwed. Hell yeah. You know what that means. Oh, no. Might as well make some arrows. I dig the arrows. I don't know about a med kit. Let me wait. What is this building anyway? Showroom? Oh. Comic Expo. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't we right next to the place where me and Jesse go? We're probably in the second half. That's showroom two. Remember that. When me and Jesse go to the other one. Comic Expo. This looks like the other half. Showroom one. Welcome to Comic Expo. Yeah. Sweet. 313. Well, I'll never fucking remember that. Seeing if I can move stuff, I'm not crazy. I miss something. Oh. Man, you got torn up. Fucking wolf. Serves you right. <laughs> oh, shit. Shit's about to get real. Yeah, they did. You can see her tit or lung. That's how you know it's bad. When you don't know. What the fuck? Really, bitch? Oh, I wanted to look at that. I'm stupid. Ah! 
They don't want none of this. I was born in the darkness. Right next to the severed hand. How do I get outside? Thought that would have been the top of his dome. <clears throat> nah, I don't know about that. If I need a silencer, I'll use this. Oh, wait, I want to make more of those, though. Well, how come that broke? I thought headshots didn't break. I'm so fucking bad. Oh, you're dodging, bitch. What do you mean? Come on. I fucking dare you. Yeah, I'm gonna risk it. Yeah, looting this is a little bit of a pain because I get lost every now and then. Not lost, but you kind of forget where you looked and where you didn't. Could have sworn uh, something popped up there, no? This room, this area, for me this is a, a weird one. A lot of rooms are either locations, I say. For me, it's either a, a win or no. 
And there's more wins than no's. I'll be real with you. The level design. It's either it works or nah, that didn't, that didn't work. This one though, this one for me is probably one of the rarer ones that's in the middle. I don't think this one worked all that well. It's not all that interesting. It's not, you know, it doesn't blow me away. In the same strength, I don't hate it either. It's not like, oh man, this one just didn't work. <clears throat> Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, I get it. I think I missed something over here, though. Yeah, probably a snack. Ooh, there we go. the fuck was that, yo? I wonder if I could do that again. No, I guess not. Just glitched where she threw it. Without lifting her arm. Oh, yuck. Uh, that's not worth it. Oh, you're nice. See, that was in the face. But I could have sworn this one was in the... Oh, I got him in the shoulder. Oh, alright. Whatever. It looked like it was in his face. What is that? Gunpowder. Coffee mug. <laughs> got a kick out of that. Alright, is that it? Yep. Now this here I like. They keep it right in the center. And then you have this. The sounds, the looks, the visuals. Nice. Fucking nice. You know what I will do? I want I really wanted to keep these all together. But I think what we're gonna do is we'll keep the seraphite on its own. Oh, see that? Fuck out of here. Can't get to the street from here. So if I jump in, I fall, but can I go in up here? Oh, you bitch. I thought it would let me get a little, little something, something. I guess not. That's a cool looking building. Is that the one Abby goes on? One of them. <laughs> okay. Head down to the street. I like how the little shell pops out.
in her arrows too. I think it's neat. I mean, it's not new. It's been like that for a while now with video games, but having your actual your arrow count in your book bag represented. Same thing with your weapons and but it's just fine details. I mean, I appreciate that they did it in this game even though other games have done it. And the fine details like the different type of shotgun ammunition you have is represented in colors red and yellow and you can see it clearly with Abby because Ellie doesn't hold her shotgun the same way, her shotgun ammo. Gotcha. I'm a fucking monster, bro. They thought they were the monsters. Oh, fuck me. They thought they were the monsters. I'm the fucking monster. Is that a clicker? Yeah, it is. Come here, bitch. Where are you going? in my face <laughs> like incredibly bad I had a plan though I wanted to get, get it captured the clicker blowing up and I thought I could do a little rope a dope and fool out that stupid ass what was it again I forget. <laughs> now that was a headshot. Don't fuck around. You shitting me. Where did I shoot you? This is getting old. Abby was bad. This stalker just beat my ass. Alright, no bullshit time. I hear you snickering at me. I mean it. No bullshit. I don't even got any bullets for that. Fuck that.
That way, Ellie, you fucking schmuck. Come on, follow me. Whatever. I missed that one. There's got to be a way out of here. Shot? <laughs> no, not shotgun. That one arrow shot. I missed that like crazy. I thought she would kind of leap up though. I figured, you know, I was wrong. I was dead wrong. Did you hear that? That is probably the creepiest thing in the game. That... Oh my god, I fucking love that. Here we go. This part is stupid. It's stupid because Ellie dies. I needed the death animation. No, this part is stupid because when you burst the door open, instead of a flood of Clickers only one gets you. You'll see. The door right now is not being... At least the only thing holding the door closed on multiple stalkers. Now watch. Right now, there'd be multiple stalkers busting in that room, especially the especially the one at the door. Not really sure why they did it like this to where only one is there. I get stalkers kind of come and then run away, but it's a little, it's a little, I don't know. It's It threw me off the first time I saw it. I was like, oh my God, Ellie's going to get swarmed. Wait, where's the rest of them, you know? Anyway, let's see what happens if I don't do anything. Well, 
Well, she still falls out the window, but you die in the water if you don't do anything. <laughs> I'm shocked how many quick time events. Is that what it is? Are pointless. And since we were so far away, and they needed to speed it up, that essentially, for your travel and your sanity, that helped in a big way. Because that got us closer to the hospital. At least to the point where you can't gauge it yourself and be like, wait a minute, how the hell did I get so close to the hospital? Because I'm going to come out of the sewer, we're going to be up by the Seraphites, and then we'll be at the hospital. Mm. <laughs> Damn. I didn't want to have to heal, so I'm just gonna kill her this time. <laughs> yeah, I'm lazy like that, I guess. See, what I will do is we'll... Take that stick out of your ass. What we'll do is we'll get out of the sewer and I'll break it there. We will do this one in two parts so that way it's not ridiculous. And the next one, that way we can have the Seraphites specifically in their own video. That's the one I think I want to... We might break this one in three. I think this is the longest chapter in... Not chapter, but the longest part in all of Ellie's gameplay. Because this part itself has a whole... Maybe... There's the Seraphites coming up. That's like 40 minutes. And then the hospital. I thought the hospital was something different, but I looked on the guide, and the guide is telling me that the St. Mary's Hospital is the one from part one, not the one with Nora. So you got to do the Seraphite fern area. I don't know what that's called. And then the hospital. And then, finally, you're friggin' done with this particular part. Not a fan of the sewer levels. They're usually uh, boring. Visually, this looks... I like this little... This little bit of green. It was a nice touch. Give it some color. I think it's just because we've gotten sewer levels in so many video games that at this point I just. I'm sick of seeing them. I would like to get one video game without a damn sewer level. But I've heard people talk about how they really like the sewer level from part one, for example, so. Which, to be honest, I, I dig it too, but that was because it was a sewer level where people made their bunker. So it had a little bit of a different vibe to it. This is nice. A sewer level that's one small section where you can just loot and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I like it. Where the hell did I end up? I 
can hear the frogs already. Yikes. Oh, yeah. Even though I don't have many bullets, this is gonna suck. Yeah, this is gonna suck. In, in part one, you can throw enemies downstairs. It's real rare. It's a rare animation. I've only gotten it a couple times. But if you fight them right on steps, you can literally, literally just grab them and chuck them down the stairs and it kills them. I can't remember even fighting enemies on stairs. A human. I don't know about infected. I don't know if you could do that. But I fought infected on the stairs and it was the same, same old, same old animation. All right, we will stop it here. We will break it down into uh, two parts for this section, just because I'm convinced there's at least another hour. I will tally tally the times to get an, a rough estimate when we do the review to see uh, which part of the chapters are the longest and then which chapter itself ends up initially being the longest. If you guys have an idea of, I would say the speedrunners because they really get the hang of it, but I only count speedrunning in that aspect if you're actually playing the game. Like, if you don't die and you play the level normally from beginning to end, how quick can you do that level But if you actually play it? Because I've seen speedrunners who will use glitches and skip chunks. That doesn't count. You know what I mean? Maybe for speedrunning, sure. But I'm talking about... How long if you don't die to actually complete, loot enough ammo, fight all the people from beginning to end on each part? How long does each part take? If you guys out there are really into playing this each level, bang, 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 let me know. No bullshit though. Jump in. Don't die. Get all the way through. How quick can you get each one done? And you don't have to rush it either. Like loot, 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 rush. It's not a timed thing. I'm looking for an average uh, for the the each different part if none of you out there are doing that that's fine that's all right i'll just come up with some way to do it for my reviews all right guys i'll see you for the next one